Hi, this is Justice here with Lancaster Archery Supply. Here to show you the Trueball XL AccuTouch Carbon Pro with AccuStat and AccuClick sight. Uh, the, the nice thing about the AccuClick or the AccuTouch sights are that it comes with the carbon bar, um, which is extremely durable and it's extremely consistent, and you lose a lot of vibration uh, due to the carbon bar. So you're, it's helping you out in the long run because you're not having the oscillation of that of like a, a standard sight and it's keeping your everything nice and consistent. Just to run through a few features uh, and how you set it up, uh, the way that I do it is the first thing I would do is set your first second axis. So this is going to adjust your elevation bar uh, which is how you run your sight up and down for your longer distances. So that's going to be these two screws right here. Um, what you're going to do is just line that up and make sure you're going to need two levels, one on this side of the bar and one on this side, and that's going to level that so that you can get that level so when you adjust everything down or up or down, it's going to stay level and you're not going to hit left or right whether you move it up or down. Um, another thing is on this side you have your tensioning. Uh, this is to lock down your elevation adjustment. If you have this down, you can see you can move this pretty easily. Um, if you lock it in, you're not going to be able to move it at all. So that's, it's really nice to have that and makes you, it just has a little bit of security so you know nothing's going to move on you. If you look, you have all these little silver things. Those are the AccuClicks. So if you, right in here, there's a little uh, ball bearing and that runs down along the side of all these uh, clicks. And you can set that up for a three pin or a five pin or a single pin to set it up for your longer distances. Uh, typically, most people set your top one at 20 yards. So when you run, you can lock it in 20 yards and you don't have to worry about looking and finding the sight tape and everything. You just feel it, you can run it down, feel it, lock it in the 20 yards and you're good to go. Same thing goes for the next ones. You can set it up for 30, 40, 50, 60 yards and that lines everything up so that you can stay consistent or at those distances. And that's for a single pin. If you're using it with a three pin sight, uh, you can set your pins in your scope or in your sight to 20, 30, 40, and then you can run the accu clicks from 20 to, 20 to 40 yards for the top one, and then you use your 40 yard pin as a floating pin. So you can use this next click as 50 yards, and then 60, 70, and so on. Same goes for a five pin like we have here. If you look, you have five pins, the top one you could set for 20 yards, all the way 30, 40, 50, and 60 as your bottom pin. And then your bottom pin becomes the floater with the accu clicks. So you have 60 yards on the top one, run it down, and you would be 70, 80, 90, 100 yards. And that's how you would, it just makes it really easy to run it down, hit that click, and you're set. Um, the needles for the elevation adjustments. It's a very fine needle, so you can really lock in, uh, you, you can really fine tune where you want it if you're setting it on a, um, like a one yard increment. If you're at 62 yards, you can really fine tune into that. Uh, and it comes with uh, complete sight tapes, so you can set everything up uh, for your faster speeds all the way to your slower speeds. Um, the next thing we're gonna go to is your windage adjustments. Uh, as you can see, there's this little red bar that actually locks your windage adjustments in. So right now I cannot move this or micro adjust windage. What you're gonna have to do is you slide this over and that'll allow you to move it. But then when you slide it back, it locks it back in so nothing will move. Uh, that's really nice when you're hunting, stalking through the brush, it, you don't have to worry about anything moving on you and uh, you can keep everything consistent. Uh, and it gives you fine etched marks to you know see which way you're moving it and all. Uh, next thing we run into is your second axis to level your sight. Uh, right here, this would be adjusted by these two screws. Uh, you would loosen one and you would twist it to get it set for you or get it set to be level uh, with the sight bar and then your pins will be lined up perfectly. And then the last thing we're going to hit onto is the third axis. Uh, your third axis adjustment just uh, keeps the tilt in so when you're shooting angles, uh, you're you know, you're not hitting left or right at a steep incline or decline. Um, the next thing, actually, we're going to go to the AccuStat housing. The AccuStat has a, a long wire of fibers for all your pins that runs all the way through the housing. And 
as you can see right now, the pins are, for a 10,000th pin, this is a very bright pin. Uh, and you can actually dim that uh, pin brightness just by sliding the AccuStat over, and you can watch the pins actually dim down. Uh, that's, it's really nice for shooting in different lighting conditions. Uh, if it's really bright out and the target's dark, uh, you, if it's in a shadow or something, you don't want an extremely bright pin uh, because it's going to cover, cover up almost the whole target. Uh, so being able to dial that down and dim the print pin, pin brightness is extremely nice. So if you have a three or five pin housing, uh, you're going to be able to adjust your pins to set them for your yardages. Uh, inside this, there's two little slots. You have one that has three uh, Allen screws and there's one that has two. And that's going to be set to each of your pins. Uh, on, if you look on my left side, your right side, uh, there's three little Allen screws, one set for your first pin, the third pin, and the fifth pin, because uh, this is a five pin housing. The other side has two for your second and fourth pin. And to adjust this, you would pick the pin you want to move. So if you want to move your 20 yard pin or your top pin, you loosen up this top screw or top bolt, and then when you loosen that, you're going to be able to adjust this micro adjust. So you can actually micro adjust your pins up or down. Uh, and it's only the one that, you're, that you loosened up. We're just going to move the top pin. So we're going to loosen this all the way. And then we're going to adjust the knob down here. And you can watch the pin move. We just moved it down. Now we're going to move it up. And you can micro adjust how much the pin moves. And then when, once you get it set, you just tighten that screw back down. And you're ready to go. A couple other things that your site's going to come with is your instruction manuals that shows you how to do everything and tells you, you know, how to adjust everything and how everything works. Um, comes as with the site scales, as I showed. Comes with everything to mount. Uh, mount the site to your bow, and it comes with a quiver mounting bracket that, if you look on here, I have mine set already. Uh, I have the quiver mounting bracket back here with the quiver mount on the, uh, the back of it. The reason that I like using this site um, is the carbon bar makes it a lot lighter than your typical alumin aluminum site uh, being so far out. Uh, when you extend your site out, the aluminum bars start to get heavy in the dovetail mount. Um, and being able to adjust from, as you can see, I have my site scale right here set 60 to 100 yards. Uh, for more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any more questions, please visit us at LancasterArchery.com.